Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Dugout Show. I am your host, Jonathan Camus, and on my left is Steve Fr Oh, no. Steve Fryer is next week. This week, once again, Nathan Percy. He did such a great job last week. I had to have him come back for another week. Nathan, how are you? Doing well, yourself? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> All right. Um, we're here at Servite High School, and uh, we've never been to Servite High School for the dugout show, but this is the year, Nathan, because they are killing it. They have a great record, and they're going to start Trinity League play. We caught up with the Friars earlier, but before we head to the Friars, I thought they had some good sound bites this uh, earlier, Nathan, and it uh, looks like they're confident heading into league. Absolutely. They've got a lot of experience coming back this year, especially on the mound and behind the plate. Uh, Connor Clancy's done a great job in dealing with this pitching staff, which includes Sean Paquette, uh, Mark Wanarovich, um, you know, a couple of others as well who are really starting to uh, come into their own here at Servite. They're under second year head coach Sean Gilbert, who's really doing a great job in turning this program around as well. Uh, you know, Servite's poised for perhaps a, a run in the Trinity League this year. All right, we all know the usual Trinity League suspects, but Servite's looking to throw a wrench into that. We caught up with the Friars earlier. Here's what they had to say. These guys have done a really good job of competing, and I'm really proud of the way they competed all the way through. And, you know, obviously the most important 15 are coming up. So 12-3 uh, and three is great, but it doesn't mean anything in the Trinity League. So far we started off pretty well. 12-3 um, and three start, so uh, hope to keep that going in the league. Uh, get a few wins out there to start off the season and really get this thing going. I'm pumped. I mean, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. This is my it's my last Trinity League play, and I'm, I'm excited to get things going, and hopefully we could put a number on that board. Our thanks to Servite for having us this week, and in all my excitement about being here at Servite for the first time, and of course Nathan Percy co-hosting with me today, I forgot about our player of the week. Nathan, who did we select this week? Uh, we went with uh, Ashwin Chona, a freshman left-handed pitcher out of Sage Hill High School. He threw uh, six innings of shutout baseball against Brethren Christian on Saturday in a 5-0 victory. Third time this season, he struck out 10 batters or more through 33 innings this season. He's got 49 strikeouts. Again, just a freshman, so uh, doing some big things for the Lightning so far this season. Man, that is some good numbers. Okay, um, and before we get into the rest of the league, we wanted to mention it last week, but we didn't have time. Transfers are finally eligible, huh? Absolutely. April 4th was the day that transfers who did not change residences uh, yeah. become available for some of these uh, SoCal teams, and they definitely have a chance to make an imp a big impact. One of those making a big impact is Nick Prado over at Huntington mm -hmm. Beach. Uh, four games last week in uh, in Sunset League play, at two home runs, also pitched a complete game victory over Los Alamitos and a big 4-2 win. So obviously he's doing big things over at Huntington Beach. Uh, Nathan Floro at San Clemente as well, throwing two shutout innings against San Juan Hills, giving the uh, Stallions their first league loss as well. He's a transfer from Jay Serra. So you could see some different baseball teams coming up in the next month or two with some of these guys being able to finally help out their teams. It's like September call-ups, <laughs> but not. Um, okay, some other league action that's that's kicking up. You know, we all know Trinity League is really kicking into high gear this week, but also the Empire League. Absolutely. The Empire League gets started this week. They're only playing, uh, I believe, 12 total games or 10 total games, two against each opponent. Uh, Cypress, the clear-cut favorite, I think, uh, in that one. They've been ranked in our OC uh, top 10 all season long, but uh, you know, some other teams that could make some pushes. Western's got three guys hitting over 400 right now. Uh, you also have uh, Tustin um, as well as Pacifica is always going to be a, a challenge in that league as well. So while Cypress does seem to be the uh, favorite in that league, there are definitely some teams right behind him looking to make some noise. And before we go, we got to talk about some other matchups this week from some other leagues around the county, Nathan. Absolutely. Garden Grove League, uh, a big uh, home and home series between Garden Grove and Rancho Alamitos this week. The Vaqueros come in at 6-1 and one, and Garden Grove right behind them at 5-2. and two. They're playing two games this week. Uh, Pacific the Coast League, Woodbridge versus Beckman for a home and home series. And then finally, Huntington Beach and Marina, a home and home series. Marina actually handed Huntington Beach a, a shutout loss against Hagen Danner in their league opener a few weeks back. So Huntington Beach perhaps looking for some redemption this yeah, week. Yeah, I'm sure those boys from the beach from Surf City will be looking for revenge, <laughs> Nathan. Uh, we want to thank Nathan for uh, filling in for Steve Fryer these uh, past couple of weeks. I think you did an outstanding job, and I think our viewers will attest to that. So once again, thanks to Nathan. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. And for all your latest baseball updates, check out ocvarsity.com, where we've got you covered. He's learning. <laughs>